All right, fam, you're going to wind this thing on down because, uh, <laughs> y'all, I, I know you get the picture. Woo! I know you get the picture. Um, so basically your whole existence here in America, our whole existence here in America is really to, um, be oppressed by the, um, dominant society. There's no, to leave us helpless, unable to defend ourselves, um, this is, and to be subservient and continue to be abused by this weak, limp, <laughs> lame, insecure, beta male. Because he knows innately who the alpha male is. That's why he got to keep his throat, his foot on his throat. And lock him up. Because he knows he's the beta. He knows he's not an alpha male. He knows it. So he's got this big old army to back him up and take your guns away from you. That's insane. So you can't exercise your um, desire to protect your family. As just like he exercises his desire to take care of his. And if it, by the first uh, amendment, so it be it. Or second, I'm sorry. This is crazy. I'm sorry, I'm going to move on. Uh, let me scope. I'm going to go back to, uh, um, um, I said Maryland, uh, Texas. Let's go to Texas. Complete gun ban for slaves. An act concerning slaves. Section 6, 1840 Laws of Texas prohibits slaves from using firearms altogether. <laughs> um, gun control and economic discrimination. The melting point case in point T. Marcus Funk. He makes his case. North Carolina, y'all already know is off the chain. Mississippi. Mississippi. Mississippi, Mississippi. <laughs> it forbade ownership of firearms by both free blacks and black slaves. Mississippi, not surprised. The United States, 1857, High Court upholds slavery. 1857, um, since blacks not citizens, Dred Scott versus Sanford. Chief Justice Taney argued if members of the African race were citizens, they will be exempt from the special police regulations applicable to them. It will give to persons of the Negro race full liberty of speech to hold public meetings upon political affairs and to keep and carry arms whenever they went, wherever they went. But since you're not a citizen of these United States, bets off. The U.S. Supreme Court held that descendants of Africans who were imported to this country and sold as slaves were not included nor intended to be included under the word citizens of the Constitution, whether emancipated or not, and remain without rights or privileges except such as those which the government might grant them, thereby upholding slavery. Also held that a slave did not become free when taken into a free state. And that Congress cannot bar slavery in any territory that blacks and that blacks could not be citizens. Listen to that again. That Congress cannot bar slavery in any territory and that blacks could not be citizens. 
Now, that's the high court holding up that Dred Scott versus Sandra. Y'all heard about, what's that, Dred Scott? Y'all heard about that? I just wanted to give it to you in its entirety. Okay? All these complete gun bans on black folks will keep you totally helpless uh, against this these type of uh, demons and devils. If we bring it on up to 1866, because now um, the Declaration of Proclamation have been, I mean, Emancipation, yeah, have been signed. What we got now? The Civil Rights of, uh, Act of 1866 uh, and, uh, um, did away with badges of slavery embodied with the black codes, including those provisions such which prohibit any Negro or mulatto from having firearms. They got the mulatto in there too. This country is so much into race. It was built on race. And now you don't want to address it. It was built on it. You can't get around it. You can't get around your mistreatment of the black man. No more than Hitler could get uh, around the mistreatment of the Jewish people of Germany. And a day of reckoning is here. You know. Now y'all got a backstory for all this killing of us. We ain't even supposed to have guns in most cases. This stuff is on the books. They never took it off. So even if that's why they can always go back and grab an old archive, archaic law. Archaic law and bring it back and say, hey, blah, 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 blah. Even though this is the year 2021, they can always go back and say, see, wait a minute, uh, Plexi versus so and so and blah, 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 and the black codes that said no black person should have. But they would dress it up. I would dress it up because otherwise it would be discrimination. So they would have to fix it and manipulate it like a devil would. You know, this is so sick. We can go to New York. Police choose who can own guns lawfully. The police choose. If you're a street corner grocer in Manhattan, good luck getting a gun permit. But among those who have been able to wrangle a precious permit out of the city's bureaucracy are Donald Trump, Arthur Sussberger, William Buckley Jr., and David John Lawrence and Winthrop Rockefeller. However, Requiring police permission un, um, and use at their discretion, unpopular minorities were and are routinely denied permits. But you see, Donald Trump been up there for a long time. Donald Trump could have one. And this is like what we're talking about. Uh, we know Florida. We'll, we'll go up to 1956 or 1955. Tick tock and don't stop. Gun Control Act of 1968. Because while they sign in one legislation with one hand, they busy with that other hand behind their back bringing something down to counteract that one. What you dealing with? And we got to know that. We got to know what our enemy has been capable of and has uh, proven himself.
1988, poor citizens singled out for gun uh, control in Illinois. Starting in late 1988, the Chicago Housing Authority and the Chicago Police uh, Department enacted and enforced an official policy, Operation Clean Sweep, which applied to all housing units owned and operated by the Chicago Housing Authority. The purpose was that the confiscation of firearms and illegal narcotics and, and consisted of warrantless searches um, and of a visitor exclusion policy severely limiting the rights of the Chicago Housing Authority tenants to associate with their residents, with their family members, and other guests. Tenants had to sign in and out of the building, producing the police or the Chicago Housing Authority officials a photo ID. Relatives, including children and grandchildren, were not allowed to stay over, even on holidays. Chicago Housing Authority tenants who objected or were attempting to interfere with these warranties, searches were conducted and they were arrested. The ACLU filed a lawsuit seeking declaratory and injunctive relief on behalf of the Chicago Housing Authority tenants against the enforcement of Operation Clean Sweep. I remember that. I remember that. The complaint was filled with the United States District Court of the Northern District of Illinois. A constant decree was entered on November 30, 1989. A consent decree um, which states uh, the CHA, which is the Chicago Housing Authority, and the CPD, Chicago Police Department, Agree to abide by certain standards in which the scope and purposes of such emergency housing inspections were now limited. Ask me, did they stop? They just like ice. Doing what they want to do. I mean... It don't stop. Poor citizens, black citizens, poor whites being singled out by laws to keep you one foot, keep you at bay and one foot on your neck, just like George Floyd. Race riots in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, killed 26 and injured 1,500 with over 1,000 arrested. Race riots in Detroit killed at least 40, injured 2,000 and left 5,000 homeless. It was quelled by 4,740 uh, federal paratroopers and 8,000 National Guardsmen. Thurgood Marshall sworn in on October 2nd as the first black justice of the Supreme Court. My point is, y'all, stuff ain't nothing new. Nothing new. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about these black codes? I, I would like for y'all to leave y'all comments. Please um, share this video, and um, especially during Black History Month. What do y'all know about, you know, the black codes? Give me some more codes that I may not be familiar with or um, share them with me in the family uh, about other codes that were per uh, prevalent at that time, like two or three more black men hanging out on the corners. Not hanging out, just gathering together is considered loitering and you could be put back into some type of indentured servitude back into a form of slavery we ain't never been free I don't know maybe it's just me you know this is the mental house so leave me your opinion I'd like to know family and I will see you in the next video bye bye